search tools on their own sites. Word Tracker, last I checked, and I spoke to them a couple of years ago, so it's been a while, but they actually had an API, and we actually tried to, to program into it. And they were actually selling it. So there's some other big keyword tools out there that are nothing more than Word Tracker repackaged. That's all. Word Tracker has an agreement with the secondary, second tier search engines, like meta search engines, like Dogpile. And I don't know if that's specifically the ones they use, it's been a while. But they go to the second tier search engines, they aggregate all that information together, and they create their own database. And that's how Word Tracker does it. So, but Word Tracker is not my only source. Word Tracker is my source for maybe a, a domain research, see how many people are searching for stuff. But for keywords for building pages and site stuff, I like to use what people are actually searching for in there, and I like to go to the data feeds and take a look at the data feed and say, okay, this is one of the most popular items. This is how it shows up in those. I'm gonna use that keyword. There's another one called Keyword Country that I've not had a chance to work with and I meant to that looks really interesting. And they've got a lot of tutorials on the site. But they had an interesting look. Keyword Discovery? Yeah. KeywordDiscovery.net or .com. It's the other big Who one. Who owns that? Tri Trillion? Yeah. I don't think I've used it. It sounds familiar, but I know some people that own several tools and they rename them different things, so that's... Yeah, it's their own animal. Okay, not familiar with it. Okay. The, the keyword tools, you only need so many keywords anyhow, by the way, and it's creating a combination of the keywords that you need. It's really hard work. Unless you have the API to go in there and strip that stuff out, use a tool, don't do it by hand. And data feeds make it real simple. And we're real simple. If you know someone's searching for the basic term, you go into a data feed and it'll spit out 50,000 keywords for you that are highly focused, high converted keywords. Since most of the people here aren't from my coaching club this time, which is the first time we've ever done it this way, uh, just say real quickly that a couple of years ago when I started experimenting with Amazon.com, I set up different websites and I set up a difference between using keywords from, like at that time it was Word Tracker and using keywords to build the site from my Amazon data feed itself and then driving traffic using those highly focused keywords to my special Amazon sites. My conversion from those keywords that came from the data feed, the ones that I built the site with and then drove to Amazon, converted three times as well as the keywords that I just picked up when I went to the regular keyword tool. And Word Tracker gives you some great long tail keywords, but they don't give you every possible enumeration that people have. You have to remember, <clears throat> they don't show everything, but if you aggregate all the different ways that people look for stuff, it's usually a lot of it's driven by what they find on the websites they're shopping on, and they cut and paste it into the browser, and they go. Okay, any more questions? We're coming back. It'll be me again, and we've got other stuff to cover. So, yes, Papa, wait for the microphone. I like your red notebook, by the way. All right. And my Thanks. wife wanted a pink one, but <laughs> a little closer. Uh, at Google AdWords has that Google uh, tool, their key keyword tool. Yeah, that's in the videos, by the way. Okay. Yep. It's how to use their keyword tool in Google, which is free, which is a very good keyword tool. And the video that's in the tutorials that are in the disk that you have in your possession, I walked through that too. Thank you. It's a very good tool. Thank you.